What's up, y'all? I'm Aviana Zirin, and welcome to the Exuma Bahama series. This series consists of 700 miles of adventure from Miami, Florida, all the way to the Exuma Bahamas. In today's episode, we are traveling 161 miles all the way from Miami, Florida to Chub K, Bahamas. That sounds like a blast, right? Well, there's just some little minor catches. We are getting there by way of sea dues. Yep, I said it, personal watercrafts also known as jet skis. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. Our original plan was to take five sea dues and a 26 foot chase boat, which included nine people and a bunch of stuff for an amazing 700 mile adventure in the Exuma Bahamas. Let's just say that didn't go as planned. Actually, a lot of stuff didn't go as planned. And just to give you a little example, we lost our chase boat to a reckless driver just as it arrived in Florida. And without a chase boat, we didn't have enough space for passengers. We had to downsize all our stuff that we were supposed to bring to basically only bringing necessities. And to top it off, the first fuel stop we were supposed to get fuel at ran out of fuel. No gas? Okay, okay. Let's not give all the first episode away. Come on and ride away with me and see how the first day of riding 161 miles went for us. Hopefully y'all can see me. We just dropped our skis in. Um, we are at Hallover boat ramp right now. A bunch of skis are dropping in. They're gonna be making the crossing also. This is gonna be an epic ride as you can see. Oh, look who's here. It's probably dark, y'all can't really see her, but that's Alexis. This is gonna be her first time even leaving the country, crossing over, and yeah. Let's see if we can get some better lighting. What? Let there be light. See, you got your own lighting. Look <laughs> who's joining us. Yo, yo, yo. Y'all know who this is. <laughs> You're in for a nice ride today. We are heading to the Bahamas, a 750 mile round trip to Staniel K and even probably further. So who knows? We're gonna go wherever our sea dues take us. Um, right now, we just launched at Hallover Boat Ramp. And for you guys that are interested in ever doing this ride, you gotta make sure you come early. You wanna be in the water when the light's barely coming out. I came over here to check on these guys. Oh, look at this good lighting. Hey. And this is Brian. Hey guys. He's coming with us. He convinced me to do, come on this trip, actually, because I had other things planned. <laughs> but this guy was like, come on, okay. come with us. And I was like, man, if I can fly down, I'll come, because I'm not taking this drive again. But it was actually worth it. This is gonna be an amazing ride. So let me just tell y'all what's been going on right now. We've been scrambling, okay? We've been really scrambling to make this happen because one, um, the boat, okay, we had a chase boat. Our chase boat had to be fixed and everything. The guys, Sean and Brian, have been working on this chase boat for weeks, morning and night, just all the way from sunrise to, to basically sundown or even past sundown. And just to let y'all know what happened, he was only an hour away from the hotel in Florida, all the way from Texas. And a car ran and hit it in the back. So it totaled out the boat and we've been scrambling to make things fit on just the sea dues Because imagine we had a lot of stuff, a lot of different stuff that we were taking with us, you know, island hopping and passengers also we had to like drop one passenger which was my niece for her she wasn't able to come but we were able to bring another niece with us that was originally going to come but we have a seat for her to ride and then karina is going to be meeting us in nassau which originally she was going to meet us there no matter what so we had to downsize our stuff reduce everything that we have and make sure whatever we're bringing is a necessity. Now, I don't know, some things made it on the sea dues that weren't necessities, but as long as we have fuel, some water, and clothes to change, a little bit of clothes to change in, I think we're good. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Oh, wait, you don't sound excited. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm tired right now. Oh my gosh, what time is it? Uh, it's only, right. so it's 6.08, as you can see, the sun's coming up, and it's time to ride. 
all over. Marina. Famous boating ramp in uh, Miami. There's a YouTube channel about it. All right, guys, so we had to change locations. Like, I couldn't stay up at the boat ramp anymore. I got like a mosquito bite here, here, and here. I'm gonna probably have horns soon. Oh, look, look. Is it, is it there? Look at, look at my, look at right here. Yeah, it's yeah. Do you, do you see that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I was like, guys, I can't wait there no more. I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes. We're here in Miami, heading over to Bimini. The conditions say that it's gonna be about one to five feet um, at Hollover Inlet area about every six seconds and then so we're expecting about three feet maybe under three feet in the middle of the ocean so that's gonna be a smooth ride hopefully and hopefully we can make it there in an hour and a half it's only 55 miles and we'll get fuel there have some lunch and then head over to chub cake all right i don't know where these guys are at they're over there but we gotta keep moving. Okay guys, excuse this, this is not a huge pimple. It is a mosquito bite. I have allergies to mosquitoes. And he has a rating for you. Oh, what frequency are you on? Let's put on our radios so we can communicate. Let's go over this now. The, the reason why we're not using the Garmin is because the power is not going to it right now. I forgot to check it. It's my fault. I should have checked it before we left um, and the night before, but we've been doing a lot of stuff. So I'll check it later. Plus, there's about three sea that have Garmin's on them. We're about to pull up to Hallover uh, Inlet, and Hallover Inlet is known to be rough. There's some crazy videos. I'll show you my other video when I put like people falling over, people falling off skis. There's some video that people have captured in the past. But look, are you are you worried? Are you worried about Hallover now? Look at that tide ripping. Oh, but do, are you worried about Hallover? It's not crazy right now. Alexis would have been probably scared because man, Hallover can get pretty crazy over here. And they even put cameras, people that are videoing for a living, making a living, just catching the shenanigans, the bloopers.
picking up. She's holding on back there. We're about halfway now. Um, pretty good. They're having a little bit of a rough time. Look at my hair. Oh my gosh, I need to wear a hat. <laughs> like a different hat, not a visor. But it is a nice weather still. It's not too hot, that's what I like. Um, maybe I'll put some gloves on. Here come these two. They may need a break, but it's okay. We'll take a break. Pace ourselves. Oh, look at her. I like that mask, it's pretty. <laughs> It was a flipper. We found it. In the middle. Where? In the middle of the ocean. All right. We're good now. Let's go. Me, does my back hurt? I'm like, does your back hurt? Okay, because I was gonna say this is easy work compared to Puerto Rico. <laughs> okay, time to pick it up. Yeah. I know she goes, how did it change so quickly? <laughs> We're here in Bimini. Um, it's only about 8.56 right now. And it is super nice right now. The weather is good. The water is calm. Look at how clear the water is. Look at that. Just to go over the conditions. The conditions were a little bit rough. And that's why I always recommend like people, I know people want to do this ride, but you got to be very careful. Um, you want to make sure your condition because you never know if it's going to be smooth or rough. It could say it's smooth and next thing you know, it's not. So just prepare yourself, go practice in the ocean, anywhere that has big waves. And I mean like big, like five to six footer waves um, or swells or whatever you want to call it and do it for long periods of time. Not, oh, I can ride it for 20 minutes, but you need to be able to ride it for hours, for miles. And I mean like 20 miles, 30, 40 miles, going back and forth, back and forth. That'll help prepare you to get ready for the Bahamas if you ever want to do the Bahamas. So Lexi's going to want to jump in right now. Let's see. It didn't curl. Ah! You didn't even let me know. How do you like it? Oh my god, it's amazing. So it's that time, we're in the no wake zone, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys. Now, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you better hit that subscribe button. I mean, you've watched this video so far and hopefully you're liking it and make sure you give it a like. So if you're new to the channel also and you, you haven't seen the Bimini video that I did last year, go ahead and check it out. It'll be right here above here on the screen. This right here behind me is South Bimini and it has a ferry. So if you're staying over there, you can take the ferry over here to the North Island, but it doesn't stay open all night. I think it closes at like midnight. So you can go to the bars over here you know, it's island time. You never know when places are gonna be open or closed. But it is a no-wake zone. Here's Brown Marina. Usually there's like a lot of yachts around here. You'll see some big uh, boats all in this area right over here. Here's Bimini Blue Water Resort. And this is where you get your fuel. What were we saying? No gas. No gas? No. 
Next you sure? All right, so guess what, guys? Guess what? So yesterday, they a big group came in and took all the gas, 37,000 gallons of fuel. And nowhere around here has fuel. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, all the places around here are saying they don't have any and they don't know when the fuel tanker is going to come because there's an issue with the fuel tanker also. So we're just going to sit here, get some shade for a little bit, relax, and then get some food maybe and regroup and think about what we're going to do. Do something about this mess on my head. Yeah, you got to put your hand. Why don't you wet your hair? Yeah. Look at her hair, guys. <laughs> just filled up 10 gallons, super easy to use with the PWC rack and the sure can fuel um, patties. Uh, now we're trying to find extra fuel. We're gonna try and go over there and see if these guys are gonna sell us at least five gallons each. And I think we, we're good. We should be able to make it. Yeah. How do you like it? No, it's, it's very easy. easy. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's easy to use. And they don't spill. 20 minutes later. We're about to go and meet up with this jet ski group that's over there. I'm gonna try to ask them if we can buy some fuel off of them because they're gonna be getting fuel tomorrow, hopefully, but we, we are on a schedule. So let's go ahead and see if maybe they'll sell us some fuel, hopefully. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. And you know this guy? To, uh, Ortiz right over here. Where'd y'all just come from? Y'all just, when'd y'all get here? We got here Friday. Friday and then, uh, uh, we're gonna try to go fuel up at Cat K. Do they have fuel at Cat K? Yeah. You, have to, you, have, you gotta talk to them because. Yeah, I know. Being, uh, very about it. The whole trip was just watching your YouTube videos, so. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I like y'all. Oh, look, they got even the headsets on. <laughs> but yeah. This wouldn't have happened without you. Oh, well, thank you guys. Hopefully, y'all get the fuel yeah, that y'all yeah. need and y'all can make it home. Hopefully. Yeah, Hopefully. we've got a mission to be in Chub K by the end of this evening. All right, well, All right. good luck. Safe travels. Good luck, good guys. Good nice good seeing y'all. I'll wait for your video. Yeah, definitely. All right, bye, -bye. bye. Now we got to figure out where these owners are at. Yeah, I got a new shirt. These guys are saving us right now. Javier and Ani, they're going to give us 10 gallons. They gave me five, and they're going to give zero to over there, five right there. They're from uh, Fort Lauderdale, and they watch the channel. Orlando, yeah. Oh, Orlando, dang. Yeah, okay, they just launched. We ride with Randy a lot. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell Randy about you guys. Look, okay. see, Florida hospitality. Yeah. One hour later. Quick update. We're going to head to Cat K um, and try to get some fuel now. It's about 13 miles down that way, but at least we'll be able to fill up and then hopefully make it to Chub K today. Now, the trick is, they don't, they tell you no over the phone that they don't have fuel, but people are going there to get fuel and coming back and saying, you just gotta throw them a couple dollars. I mean, at this point, we're willing to pay double the price for fuel because we get it. We don't have time or we don't want to mess up our schedule, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Look at these two. We just had some crackers with um, peanut butter for our breakfast. first got there they told us they didn't have any fuel so we sat there and contemplated what we were gonna do then somebody else came and luckily sold us some this guy right here was able to save us we were able to get some fuel let's go let's see let's show Alexis a shark in the wild hey make sure that they don't get you okay there right here 
Oh, right here. Right here, left. Left, left. Oh, it's going under us. It's underneath us. Where'd it go? There it is. Ah! <sighs> We got fresh fruit and these nut bars. We didn't eat breakfast. How's that pop tart? Good. Look at those feet. <laughs> Man, your feet are like gonna be super burnt. Ooh, lunch was delicious. It was just a snack though. This one over here, I don't know, had a variety, so she may be feeding the fish. I don't know. She had like a buffet, a smorgasbord, pop tart. And, and taco, uh, tuna fish taco. A tuna fish taco. <laughs> and what else did you have? Uh, did you have oranges? Oh, half an orange. Like wide open, I'm only doing 25, 27. Okay, we can go up. We, you want to go up higher? Huh? You, uh, you, we can go. We can go. We don't have to ride eco mode then. No, I'm fine riding eco. You, you have spares, right? No, we're okay. So break time is over. Now we're going to go head that way. They already took off. Some of them don't like going fast, so we're just gonna go. Catch up to them. Let's go. Longfield hours later. She said these waves are making her nervous. So let's give you a quick update. We lost the phone in the water. We luckily had the GPS coordinates and I was able to dive down to see where it was at. Um, it wasn't my phone, it was somebody else's phone. Man, the current is taking you way off and you would have to like, you would get lost and then they would have to drag you back on the ski to the, the location point. So now there's feels like there's a storm coming through, some rain clouds, and the waves are getting bigger, like about four footers right now. So, it's not an adventure without it, some adventure. And look at her, you're good, you're in good hands. later oh my gosh guys we're here in Chubke now this was the longest run of the trip 90 miles actually we went further than 90 miles because we had to go to um, Cat K to go get fuel but again this one over here is like her her tips everything is hurting this young girl over here is in pain but I've said it all the time that if something was easy to do then what makes it worth doing i don't know this is like a bucket list thing for a lot of people to do the exumas i mean you can go to bimini 55 miles okay whatever but you got to do the 55 plus the 90 to get to here and then also we're going to nassau tomorrow we're going to see if the marina is open to get some fuel i doubt they're going to be open because it is 7 10 right now oh my gosh we've been on the water for like 13 hours 
The only time I got off was um, when I was in Bimini. Other than that, my butt has been on this seat for almost 13 hours. Crazy, huh? Very. Oh my God, she's never ridden. Well, yeah, she has, but she's never done this before or left out the country, so. Oh, we really introduced her <laughs> to the PWC life. John, how'd you like that crossing? <laughs> oh my God, it was a long one. Yeah. We made it, guys. Finally made it. And you made it and you're not crying. That's all that matters. Look at you, you're like a lobster now. Huh? My back is so numb, it doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like it? Yeah, how'd you like it? Come on, come on. Um, I gotta stretch my leg. You go stretch. A pin? Oh my God. <laughs> it was rough. Like some Iron Man. Yes, it is. It is. What a way to top it off, to end the day with some fireworks. At the end of day one, saying we were exhausted is an understatement. We were practically delirious. Originally, our plan was to set up camp at a nearby island. But since we arrived so late, that was definitely out of the question. We all ended up pitching in for a villa in Chubke, and everybody was in desperate need of a good meal plus a nice shower. After going through such an eventful, grueling day, on day one, I had it in my mind that I would never do this again. But looking back and watching all these videos actually makes me miss it. I would definitely do it again. Would you? Stay tuned for day two, episode two, Chubke to NASA.